Hey there, Wild Waves Airsoft crew. Sorry for the short break after the Season 2 gameplay premiere, but I really wanted to get some much-needed gear before returning to making airsoft videos, one of which is on display here in today's video, a proper gas pullback sidearm, the Wetech High Cap Pistol. And whilst there are plenty of Tokyo Marui purists out there, I will say Wetech did put together a pretty looking pistol. Another feature I absolutely adore about this pistol is the fiber sights, making for quick and easy sight acquisition. Another thing I really enjoy is the mostly metal construction for the gun. Everything feels very sturdy and there's always some really nice feedback when operating the various mechanisms on the pistol. And also because this pistol is a high kappa, it has a high capacity of rounds. I could consistently fit 29 plus 1 in the chamber for a total of 30 rounds each. Although I will say that when I first got the pistol, I was having some trouble getting the gas to remain inside the cylinder. I suggest lubing up your o-rings with some much needed silicone oil upon receiving your gun. And as long as your o-rings remain properly oiled up, the magazine can actually contain enough gas to shoot around 50 rounds before running out. Another great feature is the flared magwell for easier magazine reloads. Range is what you'd expect out of green gas pistol, though my hop-up did have to get broken in before I could get it functioning consistently. Accuracy also is the middle of the road and acceptable for an out-of-the-box gun. Recoil is fun, and if you don't control it, it does have the possibility of throwing your shot off, which is a fun bonus feature. But if you want less recoil, the built-in short-stroking feature of this pistol will allow you to lessen it. Wrapping things up, my overall thoughts are that Wetech made a solid gas blowback 1920 race gun style airsoft sidearm. The optional short-stroking is an excellent feature for those that had planned on doing the upgrade anyway. The pistol also has acceptable range and accuracy for CQB fields and engagements. It's a pistol that feels solid in the hand and in operation, and I doubt any of the externals will break due to the quality of the materials used. I will say that the most popular high cap of the Tokyo Marui I don't yet have experience with to contrast and pair, so take that as you will. Anyways guys, I hope you had a good time watching this review, and as always, have a great day, don't be a cheater, and that's all folks.